All right, so here is an easy question disguised as a hard question. Okay, now the College Board does label this hard, but it, it's it's more complicated than that because we need to think about just like reading instructions here. That's why it's in that category. So what, what does it say? The table shows the distribution by location and power capacity, maximum rate of power generation of the 20 largest wind projects in the United States in 2013. So it's just tell me what the table says. The total power capacity of the nine wind projects located in Texas was 4,952 megawatts, and the total power capacity of the 20 wind projects was 11,037 megawatts in 2013, right? So Texas has nine, total is 20. It, literally, again, it's it's kind of directing me to two parts of this, but it's going to be a little bit more information about them. Let's continue with what they say. The amount of energy produced in one hour at a rate of one megawatt is one megawatt hour. If each of the nine Texas wind projects in 2013 had operated continuously for 24 hours at the maximum rate of power generation, approximately how many megawatt hours of energy would the nine projects have produced? So megawatt hours for the nine projects. So we're looking at Texas. What do they say about Texas? It's 4,952 megawatts. Okay. And they want megawatt hours. And they say the amount of energy produced in one hour at a rate of one megawatt is one megawatt hour. So okay, they're just saying that we should multiply. Basically, we take this 4,952, which is the total power capacity, and the amount of energy produced in one hour is for one megawatt is one megawatt hour. So basically, it, it, we have 4,952 megawatts, and now we have 24 hours. So we just multiply this by this, and what do we get? So 4,952 times 24 is uh, 118848, 120,000. That's it. That's the whole thing. So <laughs> again, it's an easy question, right? You just multiply two numbers. Uh, but it's disguised as a hard question because this is like a ton of information. What What is even going on here? Um let me know if you have questions. I don't really know what else to say, except that sometimes the SAT math is literally about following instructions and sorting through a complicated story. Uh, it's rare that they give us information we don't use. So I will point out that the fact that we have this 11,000 is very strange. That is not a typical thing that we just have that number there for no reason. I imagine that this question is actually part of maybe a, a multi-part question that would have been on a previous version of the SAT. I don't recall where it came from, but that's my guess of why there's extra information here in this whole chart is that it actually, those are pieces of information we use for other questions associated with this information. But I don't know. Um, the hardest part here is, is understanding that the, this one hour thing at a rate of one megawatt is one megawatt hour. And just understanding that if we have these 4,952 megawatts, if we just multiply that by one hour, that would be 4,952 megawatt hours. And then the 24 hours is, is where the real multiplication takes place. Um, but, but that's it. I, I, you know, it's just kind of what we have to do. Um, you know, I, I, let me know if you have questions. I'm curious if you think that and now in hindsight, if you did struggle with this originally, if you look at it again, you're like, okay, that's kind of obvious. I feel like I should have just multiplied. Um, or if it's like, nope, still feels kind of random. Um, to me, it's obvious, but it, it's mostly because I've seen questions like this before. And I know that a lot of what they're telling us is just extra stuff to, to throw us off. And I'm really focused on like, what is it that they want? And kind of how do they give me things that are kind of related to that? Um, and then because it's like a rate, I know rates mean multiplication. So it's kind of just, yeah, it's kind of just that.